Welcome everyone. Today we're going to make a delicious and nutritious dish using cannellini beans. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We got some diced tomatoes, we got some fresh kale, we got the cannellini beans, we got a little bit of parmesan cheese, some salt, some pepper, some paprika, and some garlic. And we're going to use a little bit of olive oil as well. And we can't go wrong without our red onion, so let's not forget that. We're going to get started by preparing the kale, and I'm just going to give this a rough chop. Did I also mention that this is going to be a one-pot meal, and it's going to come together in less than 20 minutes, maybe quicker than that. But yes, this is definitely a meal that you can make during the weekdays. It's quick, it's fast, it's nutritious, and it tastes good. And I'm going to dice up this onion as well. I'm just going to use half of this, which is more than enough, just to add a little depth of flavor. Um, we're going to saute that first once we get our skillet hot. See, a half onion goes a long way. And you know, if you know what I'm going to do with the bottom of that onion. So we're going to set that aside as well. Now that we got our skillet hot, we're just going to um, add a little olive oil and then go in and saute the onions and that's going to be the base of our flavor. Then we're going to toss in our kale, give that a quick saute as well. Now that we sauteed the kale down a little bit and the onions have gotten a chance to meld in and give the greens some flavor, we're going to go ahead and add in our diced tomatoes. Look at the color on this, guys. Doesn't it look delicious already? We're going to meld those flavors together. Onion, kale, tomatoes. Mmm, you can't go wrong with this base. Now we're going to add in our garlic, and yes, that's a good amount, but I love garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can leave it out, but I want to definitely put that in um, after we saute the greens because we don't want the garlic to burn. And we're going to start adding our cannellini beans, or if you don't, what do you know these as? Our cannellini beans are white kidney beans. It's the same thing, guys. We've got two cans in here, and of course, we've got that faba juice in there because that's going to give us the liquid that we need to um, get the flavors to come together. If you don't like using the fava uh, juice off your beans, you can definitely rinse them off and add a little bit of broth or stock to the dish as well. We're going to add our salt and pepper, and then we're going to add our paprika to give it a little bit of kick. Use um, your flavor. If you don't like these seasonings, use what you like. But this is more than enough to give this the flavor that it needs. Paprika, salt, and pepper. You got your garlic in there. You already got your onions in there. After we give this a good mix, we're going to put a lid on it and let that just simmer down. And you're going to simmer it down to your beans or the tenderness that you prefer. Okay, remember the beans are already cooked. These are canned. So it really depends on what texture you like. I'm going to give this a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I've also toasted up some bread, which I'm going to add. That's my favorite. And I'm going to sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on mine. You can use whatever cheese you prefer. That's my preference for this particular dish. And guys, just like that, we're done. Look at that. Would you make this? Would you eat this? You saw how quick this was. It comes together real quick. One pot meal, nutritious, and you're ready to go. I hope you have a chance to make some. Thanks for watching.